Welcome to our Turnbull Custom Guns YouTube channel. Um, here I have a 98 Mauser action that a customer would like to build a gun on. And so we're going to start by forging the bolt handle. Um, this is one that I did quite a while ago and thought I'd use that as a reference as we go through the forging process. So here we have a set of forging blocks and our straight bolt handle. And uh, we'll get it set up and ready to go. Okay, this is our bolt forging block. One side I cut so it would fit a Mauser action, and the other side I cut so it would fit a Springfield. Uh, sorry, bolt, not action. So you can see the rear lock and lug fits right in there. It's right in there like that. Get this down nice and low. It also works as a heat sink as we do this work. As we tighten it up, it closes that up. Now we need a torch. So we've got a oxyacetylene torch with a number two welding tip on it. And we've got a couple of tools here ready. One's a larger ball peen hammer, a drift, and a big screwdriver. So the plan is we will hit the bolt down flat and then bend it up with a screwdriver. And then we'll heat it up and we'll knock the ball over so it has a bit of a sweep to it. So we're going to wrap our locking lugs with a wet towel so that they stay good and cool during this process. We don't want to heat them up and change any of the uh, properties of the metal there. And we'll also put some heat stop paste just in front of it to stop that heat from creeping up the bolt and we've included we've inserted a heat sink into the rear of the bolt where the caulking block would go all to keep that heat localized One second. Thank <laughs> you. 
I just got to finish forging this bolt here. Actually, you could help me if you like. I need a torch holder back here in the garage. I just need you to hold the torch here in a second. Yeah. Want me behind you? No, right there. Okay. Pick up. Sweet. You put a little roll in there. Now you got it where you want it. This for a custom build. Yeah. That's probably hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chances are good it is. The trick is I want to keep the rest of this to cool down slow. Right. And the front so what, stay cold. What's the white stuff you initially put it on? So now we've got this in a uh, insulation. It's a furnace insulation. As you can see, I can still, you know, it just came off the torch. I can still put my finger right on the bolt head. So um, we kept any heat from transferring up to these locking lugs, which was our goal. Now, the reason why we got it in this fiberglass blanket is I want to slow down the cooling process on the handle so that it doesn't work hard and, and we're able to file it into shape. 